compliance reporting requirements on state-owned entities such as ESCOM. It says the comments from professional bodies and experts provide the basis for further discussions on the matter. Ndaya Tonje, Eyewitness News. Aljima leader Hanif Hendricks says Joburg Mayor Kabelo Gwamanda as well after receiving medical treatment at a facility here in Joburg. The mayor's office confirmed earlier today that he was sent to the hospital after falling ill in council. His office says Gwamanda went against medical advice not to attend yesterday's State of the City address due to his illness. However, Hendricks says Gwamanda is now doing well. Look, he's well and um, I am uh, having dinner with him tonight. Something happened, uh, you know, he's been treated and the hospital treatment uh, was very successful. But people just want to, because he's from Joweto, they just want to bring the man down. Meanwhile, Action SA has filed a motion of no confidence against the mayor. The party says its motion is based on Gomanda's failure to clarify details surrounding criminal allegations leveled against him. The allegations that Gomanda had defrauded people of money through a funeral burial scheme were made by the DA's Mpopalate. And media rights groups have hailed today's ruling against former President Jacob Zuma's private prosecution of journalist Karen Morn as an overwhelming win for media freedom. The Peter Maritzburg High Court upheld an application from Morn to review and set aside the summons Zuma served on her last September. He accused her of breaching the NPA Act. The move was in connection with what he maintains was the leaking of confidential medical information by the NPA to Morn. A fine start for Gauteng tomorrow, Joburg dropping to an overnight low of 9 degrees, peaking at 22, Pretoria 10 and 23, for Inaging 4 and 22 as well. Lerato Hufela, Eyewitness News. You can now enjoy the benefits of Maximo Advance, a performance enhancer that's fast acting and lasts for hours. Maximo Advance is a prescription-free way to assist in boosting a bedroom performance. Visit your nearest pharmacy today and try Maximo Advance for an experience that's impossible to forget. Eyewitness News on 947. For more, click ewn.co.za. Hashtag MSW. You may begin to feel anxious or excited. Honest, deliberate, engaging, uncensored. High dosage administration can cause adverse reactions. And most importantly, independent in mind and execution. This is a normal response. Are you ready for our sports worldwide? Top downs win the league year after year. And after winning the league, they still strengthen their team. They still bring in more quality and better players than what they already have. So what chance do does anyone else have? Benny McCarthy in the 18 area. Um, I just want to comment on the point that you made, Benny, in uh, making sure you made an example with Isan Downs. Uguti, they're still buying fresher players, you know, to make sure Uguti, things still get strengthened and don't be comfortable with the players that you have because they are functional. And Rob, Zbamba and Quimotion Drive. Choose any language, Benny, uh, to take us to the break. So I need you in Spanish, Dutch, and in Portuguese. Señores, señores, vamos a un minuto, vamos a un anuncio, pero regresamos dentro de un minuto. Estás con, estás con nosotros al regresor. Ciao. Hashtag MSW. Yeah, uh, Benny, as an attacking coach, I'd just like to ask you, Erling Haaland, do you think you could add any more attributes? If, if, if he is to sign for Man United, then hell yeah. I would love to contribute to that, but I don't, I don't see that ever happening. Robert Marawa, live on 947. Boomer FM, Rise FM, and Sowetan Live. Hashtag MSW. Wednesday nights, soccer nights, your nights. When it does ring true that it is soccer nights, uh, we welcome you right here, 947. It is Barra Sports Worldwide live on Rise FM, Vuma FM, and in Sowetan live. Also live on the YouTube channel, so if you're not log on at 947 Joburg, you'll be able to watch, hey, comment. Yeah, what is being said in studio and I'm looking forward to the conversation I'm going to be having tonight uh, but if you want to send through your WhatsApp voice notes it's 060-708-0484 060-708-0484 you can join the conversation in studio 011-8838-947 011-8838-947 and 
And why? Because you're going to want to be a part of this conversation, I can tell you. I've just been blessed in the past couple of weeks where champions and champions have been walking through these doors and into the studio. I've been feeling like a champion myself and I've won absolutely nothing. But that's how amazing it's been because you almost feel a part of the journey. Rugby World Cup, I can tell you today safely that there's 93 days to go. 79 days to go before we have the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup. 79 days, eh? Netball, 51 days. Tomorrow, we celebrate 50 days. We've got a special guest coming in tomorrow, so make sure you're part and parcel of it. The big countdown is on. What about the FIFA Women's World Cup? This is an important one because our guest, I'm sure, she's going to be there. She only has 43 days to make sure that they go and represent South Africa in the best way possible. So FIFA Women's World Cup happening in 43 days time. Unbelievable. I remember when we were still talking about in the hundreds, hundred and what, what days. But right now, though, we've whittled that down. And I've said this over and over again. And I hope that uh, most of the girl moms as well as the girl dads out there are heeding the advice pretty well. Uh, that you've got a, a little baby girl who just wants to play football. Uh, but you just doubt that she can play. And not just play, but play abroad and actually make a living out of the game. That they should use a couple of the Banyana Banyana players as their inspiration. Now one of them... Huh, a very, very feisty guest that I've got tonight... And guess what? She's just won herself a league title in Scotland. Not sure if she's come back with an accent or not, you know, huh? Scotland. I don't even think I can hear and understand what they say, but I'm sure she does. Now, let her story show your girl or girls that, hey, baby girls, they too can play this game pretty, pretty well. I mean, she's so good. Many often say that she's way better than her male counterparts. We can all attest to that because we've all watched her play. Uh, I'm sure that's why they call her the Ranfontein Ronaldinho. Her nickname. She recently helped Glasgow seal that Scottish Women's Premier League. That title providing a crucial. Now, she'll tell me about the drama because the cup was being sent elsewhere. Because the games were almost done. So the magic that she pulled in providing the assist in the 89th minute was just crazy. Absolutely crazy. But, you know, that's the excitement. And they won 1-0 over the arrivals. Rangers in the final, final day of the season. So Glasgow's home and the league triumph has seen them qualifying for the Champions League. Now, something that we all are very excited to see and also very excited to see her taking part in for the very, very first time, Linda Mutlalo. Ladies and gentlemen, is here the Glasgow City midfielder and champion. Good evening and welcome to the show. Good evening, Bro Rob. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much, man. Welcome back home. <laughs> it's good to be home, even though it's cold, but it's good to see the no, family. You can't be coming from Scotland and complain about this little cold here in Johannesburg. I mean, it was hot when I left. That's right. Yeah. But when you arrived in January? Mm, okay, yeah. It, it was, was cold. cold yeah. Freezing though, because mm -hmm. I can see what you're wearing now is like for Eskimos. You know, I mean, I'm wearing short sleeve. That's not even that cold. How, yeah. How's the adjustment been? Because you were saying to me off air that it's nothing compared to Sweden. I mean, Sweden, you were there, Duke Gardens. Um, how did you handle that? I mean, I went there for a job, yeah. So I had to adjust in a way. I had to adjust. So, yeah. And and those that usually go there complain of the cold and say they're missing home and they come back and they miss out on good opportunities what do you say to them how did you manage what is the driving force what made you withstand things like adverse weather and not being able to be comfortable in a place like that simply because you had a focus what made you you know that thing of they're yeah. looking at you yeah. that's that and i have a never give up mentality you know i embrace challenges i love challenges so whenever i get into challenges i want to achieve my goals so that's why i never give up in whatever i do how would you describe your stay in sweden 
it has been amazing three years yeah. and same as the teammates there were very wonderful they were very accommodating so it was i enjoyed my time there w what did you say was a standout moment i know that you lived up to the end of your contract was there any possibility of you renewing that contract or you had bigger plans other plans and you maybe your handlers were looking at you going somewhere else I mean, I had a chance to renew my contract, but I feel like I had the amazing three years and it was time for me to look somewhere else and Glasgow called. Hmm. Yes. Because you, you've kind of traversed the world now. I mean, I remember trying to put out calls to you when you were still in the USA. Uh, then you went to China and then it was Sweden and now it's Scotland. It's just this moving train, but you're playing at the highest level, which we see the benefits thereof when you're playing for the national team. And I think that is why uh, I see us improving and I see us going to the World Cup. I mean, we'll talk about that a little bit later on though. But what are these experiences teaching you? I mean, like you said, I've traveled to many countries. I've traveled to China, Sweden, USA, and the league is different as well. Yeah. And the culture as well is different. So for me, it's just to adjust and do my job, basically. What, what's the biggest challenge that you always face when you do travel? As a football player, yes, people say there's one language, it's football. But what, what sort of challenges do you face? Okay, for example, in, in the US, uh, as you know, I was playing as a defensive man. Yeah. And my body, I'm, I'm so small. Uh, the challenge was uh, she's too small to play uh, in that position. But I had to prove myself, you yeah. know. And... Yeah, those are some of the challenges that, that one faces. But in, in China and Sweden, I didn't really have the challenges. Mm. In Sweden, I'd say, I'd say the language. Mm. I'd say the language, yeah. What do you speak there? Swedish. Swedish? Yeah. Did you pick up any of the... I mean, Benny yesterday was showing off here, yes, you know, speaking all sorts of Spanish and I Portuguese. Mean, and yeah, I, could, I couldn't speak Swedish, but I could understand. Is it? Yeah. So one of those where, yeah, 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 I hear what you're saying, but I'm just not going to talk back to you. Yeah, it is that. And when you have to challenge something, like you were talking about a defensive mid, yeah. and you want to have a conversation with the coach and say, how about trying to play me in my more comfortable position? Do you have those kind of conversations or you just leave it to them to steer the ship and put you wherever to do the job? Uh, bear in mind, uh, the coach in the US was Vera. So I've, I've yes, played under Vera for so many years. And I was I was actually surprised. Like, you know I'm better as a uh, attacking midfielder. So mm. why are you playing me as a defensive mid? You know, but at that point, uh, we had a better attacking midfielder. So she had to put me somewhere, somewhere else. And she knew that I can, sure. I can play there. And she explained everything. We sat down and she explained everything. So was that a and challenge for you? It was a challenge yeah. and a very good one. And, and, and you ended up being in the starting lineup. And I ended up, you know, it started as, why would you play a small girl there mm. to give the ball to Linda because she makes us play, you know? So, yeah, but she sat down with me and she explained the role that I had to play and I did what I had to do. But that adjustment, was it comfortable for you or it took a little bit more time to adjust? I mean, it, it, took, it took time. Yeah, it took time yeah. for me. Almost three months. Yeah. But... When I got it, I never looked back. But then once you left the USA, then the position shifted again. Yes. But you were more comfortable this time. It was an adjustment again, you know? Yeah. I was used to playing as a defensive mid, just passing the ball. And in Sweden, I had to go back to attacking, taking on players. It took time as well. It took time. And when I got it again, I never looked back. So once you leave Joe Gardens and you go, you said... And then Glasgow called. Yes. It was a simple phone call of, we want you, we want you in what position though? Did they describe it then or were they like, hey, come through, we'll figure it out? Well, the, the thing that I told them, I said I'm a very versatile player. But as the, the presentation, they said, we're going to play you as, a, as an attacking midfielder. Mm. I'm like, okay, that's my best position. So that's good with me. And you, I mean... You didn't have to adjust much because when I watch some of the video clips that you post on your social media, I mean, you, you, you going this way, the opposition's trying to get the ball and they end up going that way. Uh, yeah, I know. No, actually, I struggled. I struggled. 
for like two months yeah. because I got in the in the season the way in the middle of the season. Correct. So I missed preseason with them. I missed a lot of things with them. So it was it was difficult. But like I said, they explained everything as well, and yeah. I just very quickly. But yeah. So to an, an, an innocent ear listening and saying, what are some of the disadvantages that you have when you come in? Like you say, mid-season, yeah, there's transfer. Transfers happen then, but you, you catch the guys already playing. There's mm -hmm. a system in place. There's an understanding. You know, there's camaraderie that is in place. And then you're coming in as this new person into the mix. What are some of those struggles? Because a lot is ironed out at pre-season, of which you don't have that advantage. So you've got to play catch-up. But what what's the bigger disadvantage of starting in January as opposed to you know, starting with everybody else. I think it will be the coach doesn't know what to expect from you. Mm -hmm. But again, like, I know she has looked at the previous games that I've played in different teams, but it will it will be like she doesn't know what to expect. Yeah. Yeah. And we play different systems. Will I, will I adjust or will I struggle? So, yeah. How much do they want to control your... <laughs> Your ability to dribble. I mean, we know when it comes to skills, you wouldn't be called the Ranfondain Ronaldinho if you couldn't dribble and mesmerize the opposition. Do they work that into, do they factor that in as a strength or do they try and limit you from doing that in a professional game? Uh, with the coach that I have yeah. now, she gives me uh, freedom. Good. She's like, do whatever that you need to do. Uh, there was a point where I think we were playing against a very good side and we couldn't just break them. And she was like, give the ball to Linda, hmm. you know? So, yeah. I love that. I love that because it, it's a case of she'll unlock the door. Yeah. Yeah. She'll mesmerize yeah. because you bring in something that's completely different. And how does that make you feel in terms of sense of responsibility within the team? I mean, one thing about me, I, I don't like being comfortable. So when I'm giving... That responsibility, I need to make the, the most out of it, yeah. you know, and it's that thing of they actually believe in me and I get to believe in myself even more, you know, and they can always rely on me mm. and I'll always uh, put the team before me. Right. Yeah. Are you surprised by the level of support because, you know, Scotland just as a whole is very sports dominated, so very rugby dominant, very football dominance so let's focus on the football side of things especially the women's game were you surprised that just like the men's game it gets so much support actually i was not that surprised yeah because women's football is growing yeah it really is growing and people are invested which is a really good thing for us so i wasn't really surprised tv coverage uh well, at the moment, they, they, they cover like big games. Okay. They cover like really L big like games. Like the last game, your, your, like your final last, match yes, day. Yes, yes. Yeah. Because I had to have quite a few cameras, you know, in the games where potentially uh, they, there would have been a victory just to showcase, you know, that excitement that we'll touch on uh, a little bit later on though. But do you feel from a profile p perspective, you know, do you walk around the city now and they, you know, hey, hey Linda, Linda, and it's just walked in, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. <laughs> no, 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 no. I knew you were going to okay. say no because I, you're not that type of person. Even if they did and you brought the city to a standstill, you would never say that, which is, which is fine. I understand. We'll, we'll put that down. We'll come back. We'll chat about the play of the match, her performance that she had. As she says, well, I mean, what a game it was. And uh, I remember back in May, uh, where she scored a brilliant, brilliant second half goal to help Glasgow City to a 3-0 win against Hearts in the Scottish Women's Premier League. And there's so much more. Hey, FIFA Women's World Cup coming up. We were saying in July, but right now we say next month. Marawa Sports Worldwide Live. In three, two, one. On 947, Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Soweto Live. Hashtag MSW. In June, we'll find out if Stage 9 exists. We'll feel how long the longest night of the year really is. Oh goody, another interest rate hike. 
June's dramatic enough, so we're removing fees. Pay no fees for six months on any new 10x retirement investments started in June. No fees, no drama, just results. Speak to a retirement expert today. 10x your future. 10x is a licensed FSP. T's and C's apply. Nine. Nine. Four. Seven. Music. Life. What do you consider amazing? At Lexus, we believe it's bringing the future a little bit closer to today. That's why the next generation Lexus NX has the Lexus Safety System Plus that protects people inside and out. A driver-focused cockpit with a 14-inch touchscreen. And, hey Lexus, a virtual assistant that reacts intuitively to you. The next generation Lexus NX. Next is now. Lexus. Experience amazing. Oh man, Oscar's night shift just started, but luckily, so has tonight's game. With his attention switched to the pitch instead of the parking lot, he needs just one more result going his way. Howie! This is the final hurdle in Oscar's multi bet. With win boost, another great feature from Betway, every leg he adds will boost his win by up to 300%. And there it is, it's a shoe. Bra -ba -ba. He came in like a thief in the night. What a goal, what a win boost, all thanks to Betway. T's and C's apply. Licensed and regulated by the Western Cape Gambling and Racing Board. No persons under the age of 18 years are permitted to gamble. For gambling counseling, call SARGF on 0800 006 008 or WhatsApp 076 675 -0710. Whether your winter favorite is Gogo's Lamb Stew or a takeaway pizza, make any mealtime flavorful with Oros. Hurry to your nearest store, buy any one liter and two liter of your favorite Oros flavors, and you're guaranteed to win instant prizes like airtime, data, and meal vouchers. Check out our socials or in-store for more details. Competition ends 31 July 2023. Flavor up your mealtime with O-O-O-O-Oros. Seven. Welcome to that A for Action. Oh, I'm calling because I haven't had some action in a while. Okay, what are you into? So I'm like a really tall guy with blonde hair and sexy eyes. Uh huh. He must have big arms and can handle these weapons proper. I see. What else? And when they're on a mission, the guy can scoop, skid, and donut. That's just me. Yo, scoop, skid, and Don't miss out on the ultimate high octane action film of the year. Tyler Rake lives. Watch Extraction 2, streaming 16 June, only on Netflix. Previously on Marawa Sports Worldwide. We are going to be reflecting with the one and only Benny McCarthy on his first season at Old Trafford. Oh, my brother. How are you, man? I'm trying to be as strong as you. I'm trying to be as good as you. I'm trying to be as polished as you. I'm trying to be as successful as you. I'm trying to be Benny McCarthy. Cut from the same cloth, my man. Don't you know that by now? Oh, Benny, if I had a fraction of your cloth, my friend, I'll be everything that you are. No one in their wildest dreams imagine that this would be remotely possible for a South African to be playing or working as a coach at, at one of the greatest clubs in the world, you know, at Manchester United. Certainly, when I left Amazulu, this was definitely not on the cards for me. If anyone asks me, I say I'm Benny McCarthy. <laughs> Got Hashtag MSW. Hashtag MSW. And Rob and Linda Mutralo. Rob, you're talking to one of the greatest players that we've ever produced in this country, a superstar of note. Uh, because for me, Rob, when Linda Mutralo plays, she always plays with a smile on her face, uh, which for me says that she's enjoying what she's doing in the field of play. Uh, but my question to Ulenda, Linda, with you having been part of the Safa Girls Academy at the High Performance Center in Pretoria, uh, what is it that, that you have learned uh, there uh, that is currently contributing in your footballing career? And also, will you also recommend up and uh, coming players to follow on the same uh, developmental pathway of being part of the Safa Girls Academy. I just want to hear your views around that. Tabako, thank you so much indeed. Hey. When he said that she plays with a smile on her face, I was just like, yeah, you should be watching YouTube because she's doing this interview with a smile on her face the whole time. Linda Mutlalo is my guest here tonight. Scottish champion. Banyana Banyana player. Extremely talented, I think. Uh, you know, whatever was said in that voice note covers the bulk of it. Your response to that? Uh, I think one thing was discipline. Yeah. And uh, not 
all things will go your way mm-hmm. you know so you just have to stay disciplined and know what you want and be able to balance school and football yeah school but what, and football yeah what stands out for me is discipline tell me about the schooling part about the schooling part yeah what because, about it um I mean, to what, to what extent are you pushing that? Is that something that you're still focusing on? Are you focusing more on the on the sporting side as opposed to the schooling side? What do you ultimately want to do? I think starting from next year, I'll be focusing more on school. I'm going back to school. Nice. Yeah. In Scotland. Uh, or how are you doing it? Are you going to? I'll be doing it online. Online. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what, what do you want to become? Are you, I mean, are you going to be Dr. Linda soon? You? No. <laughs> That's the you. <laughs> Lerato in Quatama. Good evening and welcome to the show. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Good to have you on board, man. I was about to say, hey, Dr. Le- Dr. Lerato, speak to, you know, Dr. Dr. Linda. <laughs> yeah. No, no. So, so, firstly, big up to the producer. Very well introduction. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. No, big up to the producer. As a journalist myself, I appreciate the producer. Perfect. I mean, we that's that's teamwork, and I love that. And I love the fact that we always highlight. And when we bring superstars like Hulinda, we try and give yes. every inch of yes. knowledge to people that might not have followed her path. And I really yeah, appreciate my, that. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And then as a queer person, you know, Kasi, who's always had that dream, I want to be Banyana Banyana. And then for her or them, I'm as to have reached that level, like pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Are you are you are you playing the game? I know I'll give Linda a chance to respond I to that. Da, like, not 35, <laughs> but I appreciate. Yeah. Uh, but Linda, yes. It's always like a more or less thing. Tell her, Billy, Billy, Ube, Tremia, Pogba, Gondale, Banyana, Banyan. For sure, for sure. Now, Linda, yes. Linda, go ahead. Uh, you said your dream was to play for Banyana, Banyana. Of course, of course. Apart from being a writer and a journalist. But I wanted to play soccer, so I respect you and speak up to you. Let me for my ask. What 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 do you think halted you or held you back from realizing your dream? Ask it. What, what 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 held your dream back when you say you wanted to, uh, but it didn't happen? What made it? You no, know, I, I had I had options. Yeah, and then okay. other options was to be a journalist, and then life just took me there. Perfect, perfect. Lerato, love your honesty, man. Yes, yes. <laughs> Th- thank you so much. That's Lerato from Guatemala. And that's exactly what you were saying at the top, is that South Africa's got so much talent, man. And it's just for parents to realize that, but open the door, give the consent, and tell you know, the girl child that it's okay. We'll be there, we'll support you. And there's so many superstars. I mean, you watch England, you watch the USA, you watch Australia play... They got so many world-known superstars right now who are female who play football. I mean, what did your comment be on that one? Like you said, there's so much talent in South Africa. Yeah. So much talent, but in a way, I don't blame parents when they say "ababatli banana Why though? Because there is no money in South Africa, if you're being honest. You know, but I don't know. Something needs to give about this. But we've you know? been we've been delaying this conversation about having a professional league. I mean, I know Hollywood Bear Super League is there and, and one's got to give them credit. But professionalizing the game will change the game so yeah. much. And I think a setup like HPC, I Performance Center, yeah. if we can have a lot of those, I think it will be amazing. You know? When you say there's no money, and I, I fully agree with you, when you were playing here, what were you getting? Nothing. You were just playing? I was just playing. That's crazy. That's what I'm saying. Uh, set up like HPC, it helps. Yeah. You know, you get food, you get education, and you get recognized easily. You know, to go to under 17, under 20, then Banyana. Then after Banyana, you can go abroad. But were, they, that's, were they compensating you at the national team, though? Uh, only in Banyana, yeah. 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 But only if what? You qualify, you win, and you get a bonus. But it's nothing consistent. It's only when you're chosen... It, and, and when you qualify for a certain tournament. Yes. Oh, that's tough, though. Yeah. So that's what pushes you and people like Kabo Jermaine to, to become better. 
yeah to get those international contracts you know go overseas and yeah. and, and be treated like a professional and you know get paid like yeah. a professional and we're not just doing it for ourselves we're doing it for the next banyana banyana players yeah you know actually people are brought to see that south africa has talent but you still get disappointed with the little progress that we see here in terms of the professionalization of the game or the lack of i mean at least there's direction now yeah so sure. there's a way i know there's a way it's taking it's taking forever but at least there's what, what, what would it take for us to push because like you say and you're right there is a way there's a direction i just think there's too many potholes in this way that they're taking and it's taking way too long and a lot of talent is being wasted along the true, way true. who missed the opportunity because they're not being remunerated yeah. for the work that they put in what would it take i mean what would what would lender suggest i mean what stands out for me would be more sponsorships mm -hmm. that's that's that yeah but i mean you look at a sponsorship like sasol sasol has been there from the but beginning it's the and only it's just sponsor one. that we have yeah. yeah so if we can have more sponsors that would be amazing okay yeah there, yeah, you, you, if you're listening, hey, right? sponsors, You've, you guys got so much money uh, there lying around. We need a professional women's league here in South Africa. Sasol have done their best. Hollywood Bets are doing their best. I mean, they've brought in even end of season awards. They've glamorized it, made it look good. And we love that. But, you know, if, if, if you're a big institution, big corporate, and you're just messing around with your money, here is a really brilliant investment. I mean, the ladies are going to the World Cup, and that's a fascinating thing about this, is you are going to a World Cup, and you are not even a professional setup here in South Africa. I mean, that alone is an achievement. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if we had a professional setup, how it's not just about qualifying for the World Cup, it will be how far we can go in the knockout stages of a World Cup, don't you think? Yeah. If we had a professional setup, I think, like when we go to things like World Cup, we'll be able to compete. I mean, we're trying our best now, but like, if we had a professional league, I would do amazing stuff. You guys would show the Englands, like, hey, uh, take them to San Juan, my friend. You know, it will be like, yeah. 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 South Africa. Good evening, Mr. Rob. It's Will Falang here. Good evening to them, Mr. Shoulders, and good evening to uh, Madame Linda Motalo. Wow, wow, wow. What an, what an incredible player, incredible uh, midfielder that you have there, man. Wow, what a great, great player. Uh, I just want to find out uh, from Linda Motalo and all the teams that you've played and so far in your incredible career, which has been so far your best moment in your career that out of all other moments that you've had, this would be the one that you would never trade away for anything else. I just want to find out which has been your best moment so far in your career. That is all I want to find out. Great job, Mr. Thanks. Well, for long, thank you so much indeed. Great question. Linda? I mean, I can't really choose because all the teams that I've played for, they really played a huge role into me achieving what i've achieved today yeah. so i can't really i can't really choose honestly tough no i can't tough are you just being you're just being nice no it, it is hey? like that i can't really choose i needed yeah. to face whatever i faced in order to achieve this how far are you from being your best Pff, very far why i mean it takes time We've given you time. It will come. When? World Cup, if I get chosen. If you get chosen. Yeah. Yes, so if you don't get chosen, there'll be World War 78, I'm telling but you. But Rob, you just said there's a lot of talent in South Africa. Therefore? We need to work hard, all of us. You are working hard. Yeah. That's, what, that's why you're in Scotland. If, 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 you were, if you're not that good, trust me, you and Scotland... You would only know Scotland uh, via your app or when watching the weather on CNN. Yeah, but some players need to get recognized. Yeah, from we, South we're recognizing you. <laughs> <laughs> we're recognizing you because you're a Scottish champion. You've come back with the medal. You've given the assist in the 89th minute. You've done, you've, you've done wonders. I mean, I talked about a game where you won 3-0 uh, back in May. Yeah. You know, you play against the great Glasgow, I mean, Glasgow City, you're there, and you, I mean, you, you, you're you winning against Hearts. And and we all know, you know, people that have followed, uh, you know, Scottish football, you know, the 
the Hearts and the Glasgow's and Firmlands and all of them, th- those, those are big names. And you've been able to put your foot right in there, having started in January. So you've, you've covered a lot of ground, and I think much, much respect to you. Good evening, uh, Mr. Marao, Kuruman Asbong, and uh, good evening to your guest, oh, Linda Mosalo. Uh, Mr. Marawa, I think the, you got uh, one of our best players in the current Panyana team. And uh, you can see that since she went uh, overseas, the experience that she brings to the team whenever she got a collapse, you can see that uh, she is playing on another level now. And I'm very proud of what she has achieved this season. I wish all the best in future. Thank you. Spongeleni, no greater truth could have been spoken about her being the best. So you're not even getting it from me, you're getting it from a lot of people. So that's the pressure you need to maintain that best, eh, Linda? Yeah. But also, I mean, I talk about that Hearts game. Sure, you're on fire getting, you know, player of the match award. What did that mean to you personally? And I think then when you scored that goal, it was the third since joining. I don't know how many you scored now uh, when the season ended. I mean, funny thing is, you know, after practices, yeah. I do shooting drills, shooting drills all the time. And be like, this is how I'm gonna score. This how, and it happened. The so same way. It happened, yeah. So I was like, man, this is amazing. So it's it's all about hard work and going the extra mile. <sighs> and that advice is what people take for granted. Um, just again, I use the reference of the interview yesterday with Benny McCarthy, and he spoke about how Bruno Fernandez was the first person to approach him and say, listen, coach. Can we stay behind after training? I want to do extra. And then Ronaldo, when he was still there, Cristiano, was like, yeah, I also want to be part of this. And then Rashford became, and then became like a bigger, bigger party because they were gaining more from the extra work that they were doing. And yeah. I think it's exactly what you're trying to say to people is do more by yourself. Yeah. 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 And it's all about improving yourself all the time and just going extra, man, you know? Yeah. To get better results or different results. How nervous are you about the World Cup? I'm very nervous and at the same time I'm looking forward to it. Being there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Was it going to be there? Okay, bravo. Nkwali Umkulu, I'm looking at Twitter now. Jeez, I mean, such a famous, popular person. Um, Bongani says, what a player. Looking forward to watching her doing duty for our country in the World Cup. 100%. Uh, So, JC Tebe says that I'm enjoying the conversation as always. He says, Rob, please push her to say something in Swedish. Shareholders are demanding this. Hmm. Yeah, maybe like Benny, she'll take us to the ad break in Swedish. Um, Bonga Maduna says, please ask her uh, which position does she prefer as she often plays different roles uh, at Banyana Banyana matches. Do you want to tackle that? I know you kind of touched on it earlier. Uh, I prefer playing as an attacking mid, as in 10. Yeah. But if... It requires me to play as a left wing or right wing, I'll do so. But I prefer a take him it. Whatever duty calls for, you will, especially for the national team. Let's head off to Soweto. Noni, good evening. Good evening, Rob and Linda. How are you guys? Oh, we're good great, evening. man. Such a such a, an honor for me to be sitting with a champion right here, man. Noni, where are you? Aren't you so blessed? <laughs> Every week. Wow, Rob. I want your job. <laughs> Come join us. Um, I'm from Soweto. I'm, I always listen to the show and I think I'm going to call in and I never do because I'm always on the road. So today I'm listening to the show and I'm listening to Linda and I'm like, no, I need to park. So I parked on the side of the road. I'm like, I need to phone in. Um, bit of background about myself. I played soccer myself. I'm the only girl amongst four boys. So soccer is my life. Uh, my parents stopped me from playing soccer. So every time my heart is warm because they're following their dream. They're doing what they love. I wish this for a lot of girls, children in South Africa. And I wish opportunities can be open for them. Um, I don't know where I would have ended up with soccer, but I still love soccer. It's still my first love. Linda, all the best to you. May God bless you. Ukule, 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 ukule. Sigbone, even on bigger stages than what you are now. Thank you so much. Sure, Noni. 
I know I've got to go for an ad break, but just very quickly, you said they stopped you from playing football. Mm. I want to know why. Yes. So this is 20 plus years back, guys. It wasn't yeah. like now, you know, these LGBTQ communities. Sure. We know about them. We understand. Our parents didn't understand. They were told, if you don't have to go to the hospital, you don't have to go to the hospital. And that was taboo to our parents. Mm. And they could not stomach that. If there's parents that can't stomach it now, imagine 20 plus years back. Sure. So, you guys, Linda, you are so blessed that your parents allowed you to to follow your dreams. I'm actually one, uh, also blessed because I grew up watching Amanda Mtandi. Mm. They one of your teammates stays in my street. That child loved football and was allowed to play football. I look at her and I see myself in the child. I'm like, I'm I'm so glad that the Ganabas never understand us. Uh, Noni, you've been brave and I thank you. And I thank you for being disciplined enough, parking on the side of the road, respecting Linda and the audience. I, I, I really, yeah, I'm, I'm taken aback. But thank you so much for all the good words that you've shared. And I think she deserves those flowers that you've chucked her side. She really does. Thank, thank you, Noni. You thank you so much, man. Thank you, Noni. Okay, bye. Marawa Sports Worldwide Live. In three, two, one. On 947, Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Soweto Live. Hashtag MSW. With easy to connect MWeb LTE SIM and router deals, you can scroll, lull, stream, and meme, even when the power is out. From only $3.99 per month, you'll not only get better internet, but a free UPS too, so everyone at home can stay connected without any expensive data worries. Don't miss out. Get your free UPS today with MWeb LTE. Visit mweb.co.za or call 087 700 5000 to find out more. T's and C's apply. Hi, it's Amanda, and I have a tax return filing concern. This is Saz. We're here for you. Go ahead. I'll be traveling during the filing season. I'm worried about missing the deadline. Relax, ma'am. You can file from anywhere using our SARS Mobi app or e-filing. Plus, SARS has made it easier by doing an auto-assessment for you. Just look out for an SMS informing you to check your auto-assessed return. Take control of your tax matters this filing season from 7 July. Your tax matters. SARS at your service. Do you aspire to live in the heart of Waterfall? Well, now you can. Master your lifestyle in a Poland designer apartment. Three bedroom luxury apartments and penthouses with integrated smeg appliances and top of the range finishes. Including a state of the art award winning lifestyle center comprising of La Buquera restaurant, a half basketball court, gym, boardroom, concierge, Little Hill Montessori school and more. Apply now for your Poland green bond with massive 20 year savings. T's and C's apply. Visit poland.co.za. Alright, um, oh, can I, um, uh, yo, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> skip the, uh, yo, uh, with KFC Q skip, order and pay online to get in and get out. No queue when you collect, only on the KFC app. Deal or No Deal is more than just a game show that everyone talks about. It's a game show that transforms the lives of everyday South Africans. To date, we celebrate more than 1 million rand worth of cash prizes that Deal or No Deal has helped to change lives. You too could win up to 250,000 rand in cash with me, Gatayako. Simply SMS the word PLAY to 43066. Standard SMS rates apply. Catch Deal or No Deal on SABC1 at 7.30pm and on SABC3 at 5.30pm every weekday. Deal or No Deal is sponsored by Lotto Star. Lotto Star is licensed by the Impomalanga Economic Regulator. No under 18s. National Responsible Gambling Program. 0800-006-008. T's and C's apply. All games are fixed on betting events. The time has come to buy a car. You're shopping, browsing near and far. You're looking for a new ride, but the right one hasn't come. You saw some on the internet, but found we buy cars instead. Cars, parkies, bikes and more. We buy cars, has got them all. We have what you desire. Come to us, we are the ones to trust. We have what you desire. Come to We Buy Cars, we're the best by far. WeBuyCars.co.za, the best way to buy a car by far. Previously on Marawa Sports Worldwide. So I've got on the line Motorsports South Africa chairman and member of the FIA Senate, uh, that is Anton Drew. Where are we and what has happened? We've all been aware that there was discussions, or there is still discussions, between the Formula One organization and an international promoter. 
They've been unable to reach an agreement, and sadly not about any other financial terms, but um, be- because of a, of a political reason. What, what does that mean? That they couldn't reach agreement because of the involvement of, um, or the South African government's stance towards Russia. But we, we have not been involved in any of those discussions, so it's very difficult for us to comment on it. I would rather say that the discussions have been paused, um, and you know, rather than to say that they've come to an end. Hashtag MSW. Hashtag MSW. Simply a magician on the ball. That's the description. And I think social media is not lying as they send us so many of these uh, comments. Appreciation of our superhero here in studio. Scottish champion. Banyana Banyana superstar. True South African through and through. Linda Mutlalo. My guest here tonight. Mabuto also says on Twitter, Kulmane chap, a champ got cool up. With those is a game busy and crash yam. And yelling him tender and con. Much I van a wam. Tending the light to bang I. Hey, then the way he's breaking people's hearts now. Hmm? Uh, I'm not breaking people's hearts. I, no, but here yeah, you can see. I'm not lying. It's, 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 I'm getting all of these coming through social media. But I see sheer pans like. Um, let me check out on YouTube. Uzonga uh, Mele, yeah, Uzonga Mele Kito says that the face of our Banyana Banyana women football keep climbing. And kudos for continuing with your studies. That's important. Yeah. But you never told me ultimately what it is that you want to study towards. What is your... Something in sports. Basically. Something in yeah. sports. Would it be a sports medicine? Would it be the physical side of sport? Would it be administration? Do you want to be a CEO? Do you want to be the next suffer president? Mm. Sports management. Sports management. Yeah. We need your leadership at Safa. You know that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, but like an, 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 an active... Well, post your playing days, mm. but somebody who's who's played the game, mm. who knows the ill treatment, uh, you know, we've had multiple conversations with people like Porsche Modisa who've gi- yeah. given us insight in terms of how, you know, badly treated the mm. women have been in the past. So you've had the best and the worst of both worlds. International travel, you come back home and you see and you say, oh, we're still so far behind. So I'm just saying that we need your wisdom. But doing the studies is the important thing. And I love the fact that you're so invested in that. So that yeah. it's not just, hey, I'm a former player. Therefore, give me a job. No, yeah, you're yeah. going about it the different way. Yeah. yeah. Tell me the... No, in fact, let me let me, let me go back here. Because I've got so many messages. Hey, hey, Bazong Tuga, if I don't read them. Um, Lucetti says that you are with the African Maradona in the studio. I want to know. Uh, where was her talent groomed? In Branfley, Ranfontein. Branfley? Yes, Branfley, Ranfontein. Ranfontein's got a lot of football players, man. Yeah. Highly talented, that made big names. But more Komtlakeng. Komtlakeng side. Yeah, that was I'm where. From Aysintuleng. Yeah, yeah, Patrick Aysintuleng was yeah. from there. And look at what he did. I mean, he, he went overseas, one of the first to go amongst the first. Mm hmm. Uh, to go play in America, took his talent to Canada, went yeah. to play for Toronto Blizzards at the time. And my goodness. Yeah. So that's where you hail from, more or less. Though. Yeah. Yeah. And I always have to correct people that I'm not from Motlake. Yeah. Get a brand flay. Brand flay. Yeah, when they hear Run Fontaine, they think, ah, Motlake. So we must promote the brand flay yeah, part. I must, yeah, I must <laughs> represent. <laughs> Malambula Batita says that uh, please pass my regards to Linda and congratulations in advance for being selected for the World Cup. <laughs> Linda, keep flying Thank you our for flag. The confidence. 
<laughs> so we keep flying our flag in Scotland. Uh, Mohale Magindana says, congratulations, Linda, and all the best and success at the World Cup. You are an inspiration to young girls in the country and that dreams are achievable. All of these are on YouTube. So if you're watching, you're sending your comments. We are loving those because it is such an inspiration. Uh, and all of you are 100% correct in terms of your, uh, your views on Linda. We were just talking about the potential given the few days that are left for a World Cup. You go into camp, right? Yeah. Or maybe you are in camp yet? No? No, not, not yet. yet. Not yet. W- when do you go into camp? The camp starts on the 12th. On the 12th. Yeah. And obviously that's always to give a bigger pool of players an opportunity to be seen. Yes. All the overseas players, it's off-season, they come back. Yes. How do you view that? Because you got to almost perform out of your skin, although it's a camp. But you need to not let your reputation speak, but the football speak. I mean, what coach does like saying is... Uh, players need to raise their hands. Yeah. So when we get to camp, it's hard work all the way. There's no time for, yeah, I play with Scotland, uh, let me relax. There's mm. no time for that. You need to put in the work. And then how do you find the competition that comes through from some of the ladies that we don't even know about, but who have been spotted, uh, who've been scouted, and who get invited to come into camp? Because... They may be not even affiliated with any of the top teams that are in the Hollywood Bird Super League. I mean, Coach Des goes uh, around the, 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 the provinces yeah. and look at the, the, the games. So sh- she's, she's got a good eye for, 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 for players. So her judgment, we, we take it. But July is, a, is an important month for you. Yes. 1st of July. How, what a significant day is that to you? First of July, it's, it'll be my birthday. I'll be 25. <laughs> yeah. What does that mean to you? What You're going to be 25. Yes. And you've achieved so much. And I still see 25 as oh, the beginning of so much that will happen. What, do you, what goes through your mind just as we start the countdown to the 1st of July? What goes through my mind is when I was first selected, I was 17 years old crazy i'm like seven i was that young but that good (laughs) sorry i have to finish your sentences because you leave out that crucial part yeah you were that young but that good yeah and i mean i never take things for granted you know so and like you said the things that i've achieved it's i can't believe it sometimes okay i've won i've gone soon to play go 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 champions league it's i never take things for granted at the age of 24 at because now age, yeah. we're still saying goodbye to 24 yes, officially yes. so july is going to bring the extra year yeah and just that mention I, I did promise the listeners that i'll ask you about the champions league and what that means because yeah you guys topped the table you won the league yeah but that comes with another responsibility now within europe champions league yeah, we're going to face uh, tough teams. So it's that thing of are we ready for a new challenge? And we need to step up. Yes, we've won the, the league. Yeah. That's that. There's a new challenge now. But for you, that challenge comes with what? I I, I always go back and I see from a male perspective, a Percy Tau who was then playing in Belgium. Mm-hmm. Um, but because... They were qualifying for the Champions League. He was finding himself uh, at the Santiago Bernabeu. He was finding himself uh, playing in France uh, at the start of France Stadium and everything else because of the exposure of what Champions League is. And you look at his career and how it shot off, really, from that exposure within you know, the UEFA Champions League. Do you, do you think, though, do you take it as such that if, if, if you get that exposure, I mean, come on. For sure, it, that that it comes with opportunities. Yeah, I mean, I'm like I'm neighbors with England, you know. Yes, that's a sign. Is that the dream? That that's a sign. <laughs> Is that the dream? <laughs> I'm giving you a sign. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So it comes with opportunities. I mean, everybody has has that glow. Where you are right now, they they love you. You you contributing, but somewhere somehow 
there's a desire that by the time or before the time I retire, I would have loved to have played for? Arsenal. Arsenal. Yes. Why them? I think I just like the way they play. The style, I think it will suit me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're competitive as well. Because you see it now. So that blueprint that has been set by Mikel Arteta and the men's team is the same blueprint that was set by a Pep Guardiola. And he worked with Pep mm -hmm. at Man City. Yeah. And now this past season, when they occupied top spot for so long, it was again that DNA that we were seeing. So something like that excites you because we then see it yeah. in the women's teams yeah. at Arsenal. There's progress, yeah. yeah. And they've been doing well. Okay. So, yeah. You heard it first right here. Hi, Rosette. <laughs> it's Ibi Maloi from Naturena. Just ask uh, Linda, what is the difference uh, of the training between the national team and, and the Glasgow Rangers where she plays? Does she think uh, the required standard or we need to still uh, improve in some aspects of the game? Thank you. Linda, very good evening. Robert, good evening. Gordon Templeton, yeah. Linda, I'm Kaya, uh, coming from the West Rand or the far West Rand. What challenge did you have playing around here and be picked uh, by, the, by the selectors or the coach? to then eventually play for Banyana Banyana. So, in other words, from the time that you started playing in your teens or so, uh, what clubs did you join here on the West Rand, in Randfontein or elsewhere, to then play for Banyana Banyana? By the way, we're very proud of you. You're an inspiration for many youngsters, boy and girl children. Sure. Gordon Templeton, thank you so much. Um, AB, I will also take your question very briefly. Let's deal with Gordon's one first. Uh, the first question was, what's the difference between yeah. the two in terms national of national team? And yeah. I mean, you really can't compare the two because I'm to Atla more camping. We have like a week or two weeks, then we play a game. Where yeah. else in the team we have the whole season, you know? And every day. And every day. Where else? Go teaming, we sometimes train twice a day. Yeah. Where else? Go, go banana, we can't do that mainly because of we have a week and we have a game. So, yeah. And then Gordon was just saying, Kai, uh, you know, an inspiration, mm -hmm. et cetera. Um, Wait, what was the question, the second question? Um, I'll, I'll tell you now. I was, I, was, I was scribbling here because, you know, Gordon. Um, <laughs> the teams that I've played for. Yeah. yeah. So the teams you've played for, uh, I think Brantfley used to be an underprivileged settlement. Mm -hmm. And now it is RDP housing area. Yes. Yeah. So I used to play for... Mighty Bucks ladies. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I went to Parma ladies where I was playing with Tembi. And then from there, I went to HPC. And then I played for JVW. Yes. As well. Janine yes. von Weyck. Yes. <laughs> Another inspiration. Another Scottish. 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 Camp. Another Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> Tabo Putabella says that I am very proud of her. I used to watch her playing, but I never knew much about her until now. As a 41-year-old guy, she inspires me. I hope this conversation has inspired you because you've inspired many. Those that are watching on live on YouTube, those that are listening on radio, wherever they are worldwide, we're just saying to you, keep the journey, but mostly congratulations. It's been an incredible season for you. We recognize that, Linda. And keep doing your magic, man. Thank you so much. And thank you for the support. Any last words to yourself? Do you want to sing happy birthday to yourself for July? <laughs> Not yet. I'll sing that guy, July. <laughs> Who's the voice there, though? <laughs> oh, man. Linda McClellan, my guest here tonight at Barrow Sports Worldwide. As I said, 50 days tomorrow to go before the Netball World Cup. Uh, Dumsan Chauk is going to be pulling through. Uh, we're going to spend some great moments and time. So be part of that countdown as we started right here on hashtag MSW. Until then. Marawa Sports Worldwide Live. In three, two, one. On 947 Vuma FM, Rise FM and Soweto Live. Hashtag MSW.